In Judges chapter 2, verse 7, we learn of the death of the Israelites' leader, Joshua. We're told that the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who served with Joshua and had witnessed all of the great works that God had done for Israel. After they had all died, there was no one left to give a first-hand testimony of the great and mighty things that God had done as he delivered them from Egypt. After Joshua and his godly men who had served the Lord with Joshua died, verse 11 says the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served the Baals. The rest of the chapter outlines their disobedience and unfaithfulness and God's anger toward them for that. The Israelites were doing fine as long as they had someone to lead them in their spiritual walk. But something along the way failed. They had placed the responsibility of their maturity of their walk on Joshua and the elders. They never personally owned their faith and never grew to know their God personally. That happens too often today. Children grow into adults and then walk away from God. And like the Israelites, those that stray from God as adults never made their faith their own. There are a couple of things that have to happen if a child is to stay with Christ as they become an adult. First, parents must diligently work to instill God's ways, His love and commandments deep in the heart of their children early on and all throughout their lives. Through their words and teaching the scriptures, and by modeling their faith in Christ by the way they live every day. Secondly, the parents must constantly help the child make their faith their own. Parents, as your child grows, take the time to point out where and how God's working in and through the circumstances of their life. Remind them often of what God has done for them and pray constantly for them. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Have a wonderful day.